I was Barney Lancer here at City Field. So, how did you feel to be so close, knowing that your two sons are playing on Long Island, and not being able to get to see them tonight? On this, and they're on the same team. That's pretty good. Uh, the problem is they're not in town right now. They're in York or something in Pennsylvania. So, you know, unfortunately, the day that we came in to New York, they were leaving on a road trip. But, you know, I'm just happy that they're on the same team and having a good time, and they're both pitching pretty well. So. And then with guys that you, uh, you what you didn't play with, but Kevin Baez was in the major league same time you were. I mean, have you had any feedback from them about what their experience has been over there with the Ducks? Uh, yeah, they've been they've had a good time. They're playing with a lot of guys that are really talented. So. It's nice for them to pitch against that kind of talent. So, you know, they've made that, those comments, you know, pretty much all the, all the summer that they're pitching against some really good talent. So. Obviously, they're your major league career, great hitter. There's so many different philosophies of hitting when it comes to hitting coaches. And a lot of times, the hitting coach will get tremendous praise, the team is doing well, and, you know, will be fired if the team is doing, you know, poorly. What is your philosophy for hitting, and how does it differ from maybe back in the day with Reniac or some of the other, you know, so-called great hitting coaches of the day? You know what, I just try to, my, my hitting philosophy is to use the entire field. Not to be strictly a, a pole hitter because you're, you're so easy to pitch to as far as that goes. Uh, and I use some of the things that, that I learned from Walt Reniac and, and from some of my other hitting coaches that I played for. So um, there's no one set way. Everybody has their own style. I just try to keep them on track. What about the beginning of video? So, you know, nowadays, Follow up the scale that guys can see every single pitch that the pitcher throw in, in rotation. Is that sometimes hinder? I mean, we spoke to Ernie Banks, and he, Ernie Banks said that he doesn't think he would have looked at video. He said he's a lot of his feel. I think it's just the way you use it. I think it can be overused sometimes, but I think it, it is a big advantage too, especially not just looking at your own mechanics, but being able to watch the opposing pitcher. You know, especially if it's a guy you haven't seen, you can at least look at some video and see his arm angle and, the, and his velocity and what his breaking ball does or whatever. So I think it can be a, uh, mostly a good thing, but if you use it too much uh, and overanalyze your, your swing, it can be a negative. And lastly, is this such a thing as a natural hitter, a guy whose mechanics, not through studying, yeah. not through working with you, but yeah. just has a swing that's... And can you give me an example of two guys that think are just natural hitters? Todd Helton. Uh, and I would go back to like Wade Boggs and Tony Wynn. That's three. <laughs> All right. Okay.